I'm going to show you some new ways to get free viral traffic from social media. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to show you how to get instant traffic to your website today. Welcome to ProfitCopilot.com. My name is Mick Meany and I'm here to help you to get more website traffic and show you how to convert that so you can profit from your passions. So today I'm going to show you the five plugins that I use to generate free viral traffic in any niche. I'm going to show you how to tap into viral trends and generate free traffic from high profile events and how to siphon traffic from them to your website. I'm going to show you how to automatically cross post to all social media channels with a single click. And I'm going to show you how to redistribute content across multiple networks, even if you don't use them. And then on top of that, I'm going to give you a stealthy strategy that you can use to get viral traffic to your sales pages and your squeeze pages. This is going to be incredibly valuable information for you today. And listen, this is part two of a series. If you want part one, I'll add a card up there for you and I'll put a link below in the description so you can get part one. So let's head over to the computer and I'll walk you through it now. Okay, here we are at the digital whiteboard. So let's give this a title. So let's write on viral traffic. Okay, so that's the aim of the game. So for this, we're gonna need uh, five or six things to cover. So the first one is social comments. Then social lockers. Hopefully you can read my writing, then we're gonna need social feeds. Then we're gonna to have to do some cross posting. Then auto redistribution. And then we're going to go for viral conversions. So this is everything we're going to cover today. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six areas to focus on. So there's a lot of stuff we need to go through today, but I've simplified everything, made it really easy to do, made it all actionable. So you can just take this information that I'm giving you today and get results. So do implement this stuff that I'm teaching you because you absolutely will get more traffic and more conversions as a result. Okay, so the first one, the first thing that we're gonna look at is Facebook comments, so social comments. So we'll just put FB comments on there. So these create a viral effect so viral hopefully you can read my writing so these create um th these allow your content to become more share worthy so share But there's a caveat here, even though you, your content becomes more share worthy because you have this great social proof to it, people are commenting on it, interacting with it, engaging, and this is really good for SEO. So this signals to Google that your content is relevant, people enjoy it, so it should pay attention to it. So as share worthy as your content might be with this approach. The caveat is that it will get fewer comments. So but there's a trade off, right? So even though there's fewer comments, they're higher quality.
high quality comments. Which result in ultimately more views. For your content. So there is a little bit of a trade off. So one option could be to uh, use discuss, which doesn't work in, in, uh, in quite the same way. So it has this social element, but it might be a happy medium for you. I think if you really want to go for that, that, that viral traffic, then FB comments, Facebook comments uh, is the way to go. So I'm going to show you how to do that now see let me open up a browser window for you this is one of the plugins that we can use it's just called wp facebook comments there's a whole heap of comments uh plugins sorry that will allow you to do this so it will turn the comment section in your wordpress website into facebook comments and they're really easy to use really easy to set up and as you can see on this one, it gives you a whole heap of different options to use. You can adjust the color scheme. You can decide the best way to order the comments. You can do all kinds of fancy stuff with it. And this plugin is free to use. And another thing that I'd like to, to mention, why I really encourage you to consider using this, at least on some of your website, do test it out. But the fact that that real people are commenting on your content gives you an awful lot of credibility and authority. So you have real people with real faces, you know, real profile pics, real names commenting on your content. That gives you an enormous amount of social proof. So that's why I would encourage you to consider using a plugin like this now i use this on some of my websites i i use discuss on other websites and on some of my websites i just have the default wordpress comment system so you have to test it see which one generates the most engagement for you and your audience because some some audiences might not want to comment on a facebook comment system some might prefer to use discuss some might prefer to be completely anonymous and just use the Facebook, the default Facebook comment system. So do test it. I think if you're going for that viral traffic, then a plugin like this is certainly one to use. OK, so on to the next one. So let me clear that. So the next section is all about social lockers. So it's a funny looking K, but there we go, social lockers. So these hide part of the content of a page. So let me make sure that that's actually be, actually be, be readable for you. So hide part of content. Again, these work on WordPress and then this creates a, a viral nature or yeah, it creates viral traffic because it reveals, reveals that content when it's shared, when, when the page is shared. So it reveals content. when shared. So that's how we get the viral aspect of, of this kind of plugin. I'll show you which plugin I use in a second. And this is really good. Oh, that's my, my door going. Let me pause this and be back in a sec. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. So social lockers hide part of the content and then it's revealed when the page is shared. And this is really good if you're stuck for 
a call to action. So it's good for pages that don't have a call to action. Now listen, we can have two calls to action on a page, but if, if you want to just generate some traffic pretty quick, this is a good starting point. So I'm going to show you which, uh, which plugin I use for this. And you might be thinking, well, what can you keep behind the scenes? What can you lock away for in, in order for people to share so we can lock away PDFs? So eBooks, PDF, we can lock away videos, we can checklists. So I'll put CL for checklists. Basically anything that we typically use for a lead magnet, we can lock away on uh, on a web page behind one of these social lockers. It is entirely up to you, but listen, the money is in the list. So I would really encourage you to, in addition to this, also use this as a way to generate leads. So if we have two calls to action on the page, that could be beneficial to you because listen, if somebody likes your stuff enough to share it with other people, there's a chance, I'd say quite a high chance, that they like your stuff enough to opt into your email list in order to get more of your content. So that's my logic, but do test it, see what's right for you. So let me show you the actual plugin that I've been using for a number of years. Okay, so this is my the Forest account, as you can see, it's a legit account. I'm not recommending stuff here that I don't personally use myself. I'm only recommending plugins that I have personally used. So you know that if there's any affiliate links or anything like that, it comes from a genuine place. I'm not one of these people that promotes stuff I haven't used just to get a commission. You know, I don't, I don't roll like that. You know, I'm not into that kind of marketing. I'm fundamentally against that stuff. So here you can see that I have actually purchased the plugins that I'm recommending today. And this one is called Social Share and Locker Pro. So let's open that up in a new tab. So you can see the sales copy for yourself. Now, how much was this? I, I can't remember exactly how much it cost me, $20. It was well worth that small investment. So, what this does, it's a two in one plugin. So in part one of this training series that I covered last week, I told you about social warfare. I think it was a, a, a sharing plugin. Now, the fewer plugins that we have on a WordPress website, the better. So for that reason, if we can combine two plugins or more, then that's better. It's going to make the website run faster. It's a bit more secure as well, less prone, to prone, less prone to vulnerabilities. So for that reason, I chose this social share and locker com combo two in one uh, plugin because this will let people share your content just like social warfare does. So they land on your page and they get these cool little share icons so they can share it on share your page across social media you can choose how to display it so you've got all these different display options there which is really useful and then let's go down here we've got the social locker aspect of it so we can we can decide how we want to lock away portions of the of the content on a page so we can make, we can we can do some fairly fancy things with it here and look here's a little little demo well here's a little example of what it looks like so when someone hits on the page and they they need to share it to unlock that content that's what they see you can choose from these different themes and uh this one, the transparency feature, that's really useful because it kind of teases what's behind the scenes. You can also delay the, the, the time on it and you can target 
specific types of users. So this is really useful if you have a community on your website or you, you're encouraging people to register on your site in some way. So this is a really good plugin. It, it does generate actual viral traffic when you use it right and it works on mobiles. There's all kinds of cool stuff. So I would encourage you to check out this plugin, have a look through the sales page, see if it's right for you. It does mix two plugins together, which is really useful. It's gonna make your website slightly faster than if you were using two separate plugins and a little bit more secure as well. So that's one to check out. I encourage you to have a look, see if it's right for you. Check out the reviews as well. You'll find that people do tend to rate this one quite highly because of all the features and the things that you can do with it. So it's probably one of the best. It's certainly the best one that I've used and I've been using this for a number of years. I mean, I can't tell you exactly how long ago I bought it, maybe three, three or four years ago, possibly. Still use it, it gets updated, it's all good. So let's go, let's close that and let's have a look at the next section that we need to cover. So let's move on to social feeds. Now this is really cool. Uh, this is something that I discovered a few years ago. So this is great for industry news, uh, industry events. I'll actually tell you a story about how I discovered this. So, We can use it for industry news and events. We can use it for specific topics in your niche. We can use it to uh, pull content from social media discussions. So in order to create a hub. Let me undo that a second. So a community hub. And this is great for SEO as well. So let me explain this strategy. So what we do is we pull in discussions from social feeds like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever there is discussion happening on social media in our industry. We pull that content in and we display it on a page on our website. This is such a, a powerful strategy. I'll tell you exactly how I discovered this. So a few years ago, I, I used to report on a, a an annual meeting. So <laughs> every year, uh, high profile people, politicians, uh, media, entrepreneurs would meet. It's called the Bilderberg Group. They would meet or they still meet every year. And there was an element of secrecy about this meeting. So every year <laughs> I, I would report about this on one of my websites and that content would get enormous amounts of traffic. I'm talking, you know, tens of thousands of people every single day coming to the website to consume this content because I was I was one of the few people willing to go out there, troll around the internet, actually phone people up as well who were on the ground reporting uh, on, on this issue, getting content information fed back to me and I was reporting about this on my website. So it became like a little bit of a hub once a year for this event. So people knew that if they come to my website, they will get the latest information about this secretive meeting. So that's how I discovered this, this uh, strategy. But then with the advent of social media, things became really easy. I didn't have to do it 
in the same way anymore. All I could, all I had to do was just look through the social media stuff. So I'll keep an eye on Twitter, Facebook, wherever the discussion was happening. And then I just link to these reports from on the ground and see what, you know, create a profile or an image of what was going on based on that. And then I thought, well, surely this, this can be automated, right? So if we can automate something, it's, it's going to make life easier. So I found a plugin that did something similar to what I wanted. And I'm going to show you the plugin now. So all I did was put in the hashtags and the keywords that I wanted it to re retrieve discussion about. It pulled that content in, displayed it on the web page for me so I didn't have to do it anymore. And then as a result, that page on my website went mega. I'm talking like literally, literally over 100,000 people a day coming to that single web page because of this, because they knew that it, all the information that they wanted to get about the Bilderberg Group was in one place as it happened in real time. So as soon as somebody posted on Twitter, it appeared on this on, on this web page. On Facebook, didn't matter where, wherever the discussion was happening, my website would pull it in and display it in one place, in, in like one timeline. So it was easy for people to consume and, and, and digest. And what's more, this page was indexed by Google, which mean, means it was really good for SEO. And it created a community hub around this topic. Now you can use this for, for any topic or niche or any event. Think about maybe Comic Con, the Apple keynote spe speech, doesn't matter. What's ever relevant to your niche, you can use this strategy to create that kind of that viral traffic. Because listen, as it's pulling in all the content from your niche, it's pulling in all this all this info that creates such a valuable and shareable resource for the people in your industry, for the people in your audience, uh, for your audience, the people in your in your niche. So let me show you the plugin. Okay, so here we are in my uh, Cold Canyon, the themes forest, theme forest thingy. So you can see it's got Flow Flow. Let's cl click on that. So you can see that I've actually purchased this. Let's see how much this costs. That's $35. Again, that is well worth the investment. So have a look through the... Uh, the sales page. I will, of course, put links in in the description to all these plugins for you, and you can see that it pulls in discussion and information from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google Plus. Well, not anymore, right? Pinterest, SoundCloud, LinkedIn, Foursquare, Flickr, Dribble, WordPress, Tumblr, Vimeo and any RSS feed, this is really powerful stuff. So, if you have a look through here, you can see just how powerful it is. So it pulls in discussion, allows you to create a community hub based around hashtags and keywords in your niche. And it creates this social media stream that is constantly updated in real time. It's a it's an amazing uh, plugin. Now it says here the best selling social media stream plugin since 2016. I've been using it uh, longer than that. I'm not sure exactly when I purchased it, but in my experience, this has been incredibly powerful over the years, and. Uh, Check it out. Have a look at, at this sales page. Read through all, all the features and benefits. If you like this strategy that I've just run you through, that is the plugin to use. OK, so let's move on to the next section. And this is actually a little bit of a bonus because I know. Pinterest. 
if that's how you spell Pinterest, right? I know that Pinterest is big for a lot of you guys and you use it as a source of traffic. And you're very smart to do that because it is a great source of free traffic. And you can go viral on, on Pinterest with the right strategy. But I'm not that big into Pinterest and I know that there is some of you guys watching this video who do not like Pinterest at all. I know your wives might like Pinterest and I know I know that you might not be particularly into into using it. For me, I'm not that big into into Pinterest. It's not a it's not my first port of call when it comes to social media traffic, but I'm aware, I recognize the importance of being on Pinterest, so I don't ignore it completely. So in my research into this dilemma <laughs> that I know I need to be on Pinterest, I know, excuse me, I know I need to be on Pinterest, but I don't actually like using Pinterest. So here's a solution that I have come up with. So I have found a plugin that I am considering using. I'm not using it yet, but I thought I'd share it this with you in case you wanted to have a look at it too and see if it's any good for you. If it is any good or if it's bad, I'll come back and let you know if I decide to use it. But I just thought I'd share something that's going on in my head with you in case it might benefit you as well. So this plugin that I've been looking at, it automatically pins. So auto pins your WordPress post to Pinterest. And that results in more free traffic to you. So let me show you the plugin that I'm looking at. So this is it. It's called Pinterest Automatic Pin WordPress plugin. And how this works is it automatically pins your images to your Pinterest account on, on boards on there and then it links back to your website. So it creates backlinks and generates traffic to your website from from Pinterest for free. And how much is this? So that's 21 bucks. So I'm thinking about this. Maybe maybe it's a plugin that you might want to use to if you're wondering about the whole Pinterest thing, but you're a bit like me and you think, well, that's not really a social media platform that appeals to me. I'm more of a kind of Facebook guy. So that's generally where I hang out. That's where I like to drive traffic to my my funnels from uh, using my Facebook group. And hey, if you want to join that group, go to facebook.com slash groups slash Profit Copilot. Come on board and uh, join in the fun. It's a pretty active group. There's a lot of fun and interesting stuff being shared on there. You'll get some new ideas and a whole heap of inspiration too. But if you are considering Pinterest or you're, you're not sure where to start with Pinterest, this might be a good option for you. So let's move on to the next section. Okay, so let's clear that, add on a new layer, and let's talk about redistribution. So this is, it's cross posting. So we take content from one platform, post it on another, back and forth. So this is really useful if you don't have a VA. So if you don't have a virtual assistant, This is really good because we automate things. We love automation. Don't we? Marketers love automation. Makes our life really easy. 
and it, this generates specific results. I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we want to post from Facebook to Twitter, we can do that really easily. Or if we want to post from Instagram to Facebook, if we want to mix it all up a bit, so we post one place, we put we post on one platform and then disseminate, distribute this this piece of content everywhere. And we do it automatically. And for this, we're going to use a website called If That Then This. Let me make sure I'm actually saying that right, because I want to make sure that um I give you the actual name. Stand, this stands for if that, then this. So let me show you some of uh, some of what you can do with this. So this will automate your your social media posting. So we can set up different recipes. So let's say Facebook to Twitter. So every time you post on your Facebook page, that automatically updates and creates a tweet. Or if you want to sync up your Facebook profile and your Twitter profile for pictures, you can do it this way. I mean, have a look at all the recipes that you've got to use here. So we can go Instagram. So look at that, we can post from Instagram to Twitter or Twitter to Instagram. This, you can even have it so, so you received a text notification if someone replies to you or sends you a message, that kind of thing. You, you can do so much stuff with this website. So that is ifttt.com. If that, then this. And it's free to use. I'm not sure exactly how many recipes you can you can have for free, but it is absolutely worth checking out. And if we have a look at WordPress, let's see what you can do with this. So you can post from WordPress to Twitter to Buffer, Tumblr. There's dozens and dozens and dozens of WordPress recipes. In here and we can create chains so we can set it up so if you publish on Pinterest then it will create a WordPress post for that so we can we can have it pull in information from social media platforms and create unique posts for that piece of content or we can have have it distribute content from WordPress to multiple different channels as well and this is a really good time saver so if you've got like half a dozen social media profiles and it's taking you, I don't know, 45 minutes to go through and create the content for each one to, you know, create this network of backlinks and social signals, then this will automate that for you. It's a massive time saver. And it's also really good if you use one social media network, but not another. So like I was saying previously, I'm really into Facebook. That's where I tend to hang out in the Facebook group, but I don't use Pinterest. So what if I post a lot of content on, on Facebook and I want those images to be sent from Facebook to Pinterest, then this is how I could do it using this website. And it is free to use. I'd encourage you to check that out when you get a chance. Okay. So, Let's move on to, I think this is the final section in this tutorial training video thingy. So this one is going to be about social conversions. I think that's what we're up to. So it's actually viral conversions, isn't it? Because we want viral traffic.
this is incredibly powerful. This is one of the most powerful strategies you will ever hear. I know that's a big statement to make, but you'll see why I say that in a second. So here we're going to send your sales page or your squeeze page. Let's just put an SP because it can stand for both. So a squeeze page or a sales page. Going to make it viral. Big claim, right? I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So this generates social proof. in a really cool way. So what happens is immediately after someone buys or opts in, converts, they are then asked to make a comment. And remember the very first plugin that I spoke about, that Facebook comments, plugin you can use it to do this as well so here's how it works as soon as someone opts in to your email list or buys your product when they hit the landing page the thank you page sorry not the landing page the thank you page where they can download the product or consume the thing they've purchased immediately on that page we have the WordPress comments feature and we ask them to comment. We say, let people know what you think of this. So immediately after someone lands on that page, on the thank you page, they've opted in or purchased, they're invited to comment and they can see the comments from other people, other people who have actually obtained the thing you've promised them or the thing you've sold them. And of course, because they've just got this cool thing from you, they are most likely going to be incredibly happy and positive. So it's a great, a great time to ask them to leave a comment, share the love, say something positive. So they will, in a lot of instances, leave a comment saying, amazing, so happy to be here. Thank you for, for this. And then that generates social proof. Not only does it generate social proof, it creates an element of stick. What stick? Well, as soon as someone buys your product, the thought process is, have I made the right decision? Have I made a mistake? Is this right for me? Have I just wasted my money? That's the first thing that happens. So what we want to do when someone makes a purchase from us, we want to reassure them that it's okay. They haven't been ripped off. We're going to give them exactly what they paid for it's all good we're not one of those shady marketers we are one of the good guys who delivers on our promises so to help people realize that we use stick we can use a stick video or a stick letter traditionally with this method we're actually using social proof as a form of stick so immediately as soon as they buy they can see comments from other people that say hey this is awesome thank you and that increases stick. And when we increase stick, we reduce buyer's remorse. And that reduces the refund rate because people are happy with their purchase. They can see that they're in the right place. They were, they made the right decision to purchase. So that's one element. That's part one of using this viral conversions strategy for you. I'm going to tell you the second part which might even be more powerful than the first element. Using the Facebook comments feature, what happens because it creates this, this shareability. So when someone comments that can appear on that person, that comment and the fact that they've made a comment on your page can appear on their timeline. Their friends can see it, that kind of thing. So, What, what typically happens is if they're saying, if they're posting on a thank you page, that thank you page is locked away. So the people on, on, on Facebook who see this comment being posted might click on it, go to the page and be locked out. That does no good for you. So we can set it in the Facebook comments 
settings, we can set it that those, the people who click the link on Facebook from that comment are directed to your sales page or to your opt-in page, your squeeze page. So this makes it incredibly powerful. And this will create a viral aspect of virality, if you like, for your sales page or your squeeze page. So the people commenting will send traffic to you for free to that page, whichever page you choose. So this actually taps into one of the oldest forms of marketing, probably the very first form of marketing, word of mouth. So this creates word of mouth online, on social media, for you, for free. But then we don't stop there. We take this a step further too. You know, I like to over deliver with my stuff. So today in this, in this one strategy, I'm, we're times in it by three, as you can see. So what we're doing here, what we're going to do now is we're going to not only have those comments displayed on the sales page, um, sorry, on the thank you page. So someone lands on the thank you page, they type in the comments, hit publish, and it's displayed there on the actual thank you page. But we can take those comments and then have them displayed on the sales page too, or on the squeeze page. And this creates more social proof. This is a live testimonial feed in real time. So you have a constant supply of fresh testimonials on your sales page. Imagine how powerful that is. So someone lands on your thank you page, they put in their awesome comment, hit publish, that appears on their timeline, their friends click on that, go to your sales page, and boom, there they can see that their friend just left a testimonial for you on this sales page. And that's someone they know, it's someone they trust. So, hey, if Bob likes this product, it must be a good product. So this creates a cycle. So the comments on the thank you page encourage conversion. And then the, the conversions encourage the comments. You see how this creates like a, an upward spiral. You see how it works? Pretty smart, right? Okay, and listen, if you want traffic today, I've got a free training course that I'd love to give you when you go to profitgopilot.com slash traffic and get that nothing is going to cost you a penny. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel too. Hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload another video, which is going to be tomorrow. So thank you for checking this out. I hope you... Have a fantastic day and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care, guys.